Hey guys, I'm back again for the Star Wars Mandalorian Pops. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey guys, it's Today I Grew Up with a really awesome review of the Star Wars Mandalorian Pops. I'm really excited about this. Um, the Child Pop was actually the most sold Funko Pop in the market, I heard. So we have 345 here as the original classic first Mandalorian pop figure that we got from Funko. And then the Child, which like I said, is the most popular number one selling pop of all time, as they have said for 368. So pick it up if you have a chance because these are awesome. So here's a side view of the Mandalorian pop boxes. I think it looks really great. And here in the back, it kind of shows you all the figures that you can collect from the Mandalorian. I think there's so many great ones like Cara Dune and, and there's just so many cool ones that I would probably pick up. But it's up to you, you know, which ones do you like better? Do you want to have the whole collection? Do you just want to collect a couple of them? Um, I definitely don't know if I'm going to collect all of them because I only have so much room in my house for, for things that I collect. But just so you have an idea, there's a lot more cool characters and figures that you can pick up that Funko has released for the Mandalorian toy line. And yeah, I think it looks great and I'm excited to get into these. So I've had them on my shelf for a bit. Here's the side view. And I've just been really, really um, trying to find time to open them so I can finally review them for you guys. And I'm really happy to share them with you. So open up the Mandalorian pop. There's this really cool like cardboard postcard, has the logo on it and it's a good backdrop. Mandalorian itself looks really clean. He looks shiny. You know, he also doesn't look too shiny, which is nice. So it's a nice, happy balance. Here on the bottom, it says partnership with Lucasfilms, which I thought was interesting. And of course, the Funko logos and all that made in Vietnam. But here's the bottom spring. You could see the spring that's inside. I don't know if mine's a little crooked, but the cool thing about it is you can kind of like move it around and uh, it could still bobble. His blaster kind of is in the way, but you know, it still bobbles. You can still uh, shake it around and have a cool bobble effect. Um, so I think it I think it looks really good. And I like that it has a bobble feature instead of just a regular plain pop because it gives it something more fun to interact with and display on yourself. So I think they did a great job on this. I really love um, the look and the feel of it. Funko always does an amazing job, and I think they really nailed the blaster detail here on the side that he's holding, and his costume looks awesome, so his suit looks great. I really like that it says Star Wars on the platform, so he has a nice display stand. He does not come off of the display base. That's probably something I wish they could include, because I feel like Pop Funko used to allow that feature, um, but they stopped doing that, so. I mean, other than that, though, it's still a great figure, even though you can't remove him, but it's great. Here's a child because he had a different postcard because he is a little more of a landscape um, because his ears are too big. So they had to make the box go the other way. But man, this thing is amazing. The child is cool, or Baby Yoda, as people call him. I like that his ears are super long and exaggerated, and he bobbles really easy because he has nothing to block his head from bobbing. It it really does achieve the effect. <laughs> so I love his coat detail and the colors and the paint apps. It just looks amazing. They even put the little lines on top of his head. So I don't know. I like calling it Baby Yoda, even though it's called the child. But either way, it's a lot of fun to play with. Imagine putting this in your car. That'd be so funny to see a bomb. It's like, what do you want to eat, Baby Yoda? You want to eat flies? No? You don't want to eat flies? Do you want to eat frogs? Yes, you do. <laughs> It looks so cool. I, I almost want to mount this on the dash of my car as I'm driving down the road and it would bobble for hours as, as long as I'm driving or moving the car. This thing moves really easily. And I once you bobble it, you notice the head just keeps moving. It just keeps moving, keeps moving. I don't have to touch it and it's still bobbing by itself. So that's pretty neat. I think this is probably one of the coolest pops I own, to be honest with you. Um, I'm pretty biased, of course, but isn't this so cool? Now, here are the toys that I just reviewed for you guys on my channel. Uh, Mandalorian Action Figure Vintage Collection and this custom Yoda, Baby Yoda that I got made from eBay. But what do you guys think? It looks awesome. It's a cool uh, reiteration of the Mandalorian and the Child in different forms. I don't know. I think these, these bobbleheads look great together. And if you buy Mandalorian, you have to buy the Child. If you buy the Child, you should buy the Mandalorian. But it's up to you. Whatever you guys want to collect is cool with me. Um, but what do you guys think about these pops? Are you guys going to collect them? Do you guys like them? Please leave all your comments in the comments below. 
And um, thank you again for liking, for subscribing, for sharing my videos, for watching them. It really means a lot to me that this channel has grown and you guys are helping to support what I do here. Hope you guys are staying safe out there and I'll see you guys on the next video review.